Many of tonight's honorees tackled the abuse of power in our government, and The United States of Secrets is an incredible thriller. It's a frontline documentary from PBS, and it's a detailed look at the National Security Agency's sweeping surveillance program. Both, both the Bush and Obama administrations have used thin legal rationales to justify the spying and collection of our personal information. With amazing interviews of people who were directly involved with the program and the heroic whistleblowers who tried to stop it, we understand why Edward Snowden did what he did for this country. At the National Security Agency, they called it the program. We are under emergency conditions. Created after 9-11. Extraordinary means are required to deal with the threat. Collecting data on American citizens. You're looking for unknown conspirators, and the way they devised to do that was to look at everybody. Secrets at the highest levels of government. A whole surveillance program without warrants designed for domestic surveillance. What we're doing is lawful, and I think is effective. Through two presidencies. This is a highly classified program. He was collecting the entire internet stream. He chose to keep the programs largely intact. That's not just data collection. That's digital surveillance. I argued it was unethical, illegal, and unconstitutional. And when this comes out, all hell is going to break loose. Here to accept the Peabody is Martin Smith. Congratulations. Indeed, this is an honor. Um, thank you to Jeff, Jeffrey Jones and to the board of jurors. Um, Fourteen years ago, just a few blocks from here, two planes plunged into the World Trade Centers, and uh, uh, the government declared a state of emergency and determined that extraordinary measures were required to ensure our safety. A new era was born, one in which we unknowingly surrendered our privacy. These three hours of television revealed just how far the pendulum swung, how the NSA, telecom, and tech companies fed our government's voracious appetites for our most private data. There are a number of people I want to thank. Some of them are here, some are not. Uh, first, Edward Snowden, who risked his freedom to make this story public. Our editorial consultant, Barton Gelman. Bart was among the first journalists to receive Snowden's leak. <laughs> Producer Michael Kirk, who is vacationing abroad right now, really should be here because more than anyone, it was his series. He produced and wrote and directed the first two hours, and it was Mike that invited me uh, to come on board for the third hour, and I was honored to do that. From Mike's team, his longtime collaborators, producer-writer Mike Weiser, producer-reporter Jim Gilmore, uh, editor Steve Audette, coordinating producer Colette Ninuruz Hanna, and University of Georgia journalism graduate, associate producer Lauren Ezel. <laughs> On my team, credit goes to uh, co-producer Linda Hirsch, edit editor, co-producer Ben Gold, associate producer Dan Shergerman, and for the entire series, director of photography Ben McCoy. And then there is executive producer David Fanning. <laughs> David, as many of you know, is the founding father of Frontline, whose extraordinary vision has shaped and guided uh, what we do for more than three decades. I have had enormous good fortune to work with you, David for the best years of my career. You will be missed. Because beginning tomorrow, Frontline will have a new executive producer, Rainey Aronson, David, David's able and talented successor. We all welcome her. We are delighted. Rainey was the deputy executive producer for United States of Secrets. I also want to thank all of our uh, foundation funders, especially the Ford Foundation, uh, some of you are here tonight with us. I want to thank PBS, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and all the dedicated folks at Boston's PBS station, WGBH. And finally, I want to say a thank you to my first audience and most important critic, my wife, Marcella Gaviria, whose birthday it is today. Let's join her. Wishing her happy birthday. Thank you very much.